One of the biggest winter weather hazards that we have is fog. It causes thousands of accidents a year with poor visibility, hard to see street signs and street lights, not to mention the slick roads that it produces as well. You can see those headlights with the glare on the roadways. So how does this form in the valley and cause such problems? Let's go ahead and take it step by step here. First, we're going to look at a clear night and what we'll have is air rising and cooling from the valley. Next, the next step here is we head over to the foothills and the Sierra. What's going to happen is cooler air drains into the valley down into the lower elevation. So you have an, what's called an inversion, the warmer air above the cooler air. So now we've got the cool air kind of trapped at the lower levels. So our next step is if we've got that cool, stable layer near the ground, that's going to limit our mixing and traps that cool, moist air. And the final step to the fog formation when we really start to see the hazardous conditions forming is the air near the ground continues to cool until water vapor changes into small droplets of liquid water. So you can see the transition here going from vapor to liquid that's called condensation. And that's when we see the fog forming through the valley and the slick spots on the roadways because there's actual water that is starting to condense onto surfaces like streets or even onto our cars. So you might need to use your windshield wipers in the morning. All right, so some fog safety tips here. Slow down, obviously your reaction time is going to be much limited because the visibility is down so much. Use low beam headlights. Also leave plenty of distance between you and other vehicles. And finally, this is an interesting one and something that can really help, especially when fog kind of dilutes the sound, is you want to lower your driver's side window to hear any traffic accidents that may be up ahead of you. Now, let's say your vehicle is the one that's having problems. There's a couple of things that you can do to prevent further disruption of traffic. First of all, you want to pull well onto the shoulder, and we're talking well off to the side of the road as it's safe to do so. Next, turn off all your lights except for your flasher, say your hazards. That's going to help for traffic that's coming up behind you to know that, hey, we've got a car that's in trouble. That's not an actual car that is moving in a lane of traffic. That car is stalled or stopped at the time. And then finally, if it's possible and safe to do so, you want to leave your vehicle and move away from the road. Now, the reason why this is one of those steps is because we talk time and time again in news stories about people getting rear ended. They're sitting in their disabled car in fog and then they get into a traffic accident, unfortunately, because somebody comes up behind and just doesn't know that that car is stalled or stopped.